when I would see Navy commercials and I saw guys flipping rifles or holding a flag, I was like, wow. I, I didn't know what it was about specifically, but just seeing that, I was like, it was so interesting. The focus that I saw on them, it, it really inspired me to look into it more. And I always, that's what I saw the military as. Once I got here, I didn't know how I was gonna feel about it, but I learned to love it. I learned to have a passion for it. Even for some of the tougher ceremonies, even the tedious work that goes into prepping your uniform day in and day out, I really have learned to love it. And, and it's something that has made me feel like I could stay in the Navy for a lot longer than I even thought I could. I'm Seaman Roberto Mojica, and I'm a full honors casket bearer with the United States Navy Ceremonial Guard. I do special ceremonies at Arlington National Cemetery, do special ceremonies for um, the president or joint service ceremonies at least three times a week. I'm at Arlington National Cemetery doing funerals. If I'm not, I'm here at the building. We get together and um, we'll practice carrying caskets with weight in it. Um, we'll practice folding a flag, just different sequences for different types of funerals that we have at Arlington. One of the guys, one of the squad leaders that trained me, the way they talked about it, and you know, it's like a, a brotherhood, real camaraderie we have uh, between bears, that drew my attention. There's a weightlifting requirement. One of the most important things, obviously, to be a casket bearer is to be able to pick up weight. A lot of times you're gonna be carrying caskets with the team and we need to make sure that you can hold up your part. Of it. If you can't meet it uh, when you're trying to come into casket bearers, you're usually not accepted. We're all trying to be the best that we can be physically and, and that's the, the kind of environment that we have here in Bears. I was drawn to that, to that environment, to that brotherhood. I thought it'd be such an honorable thing to do and that's why I decided to go to Casca Bears. There's different uniforms for different ceremonies. I usually wash my uniform, make sure everything's squared away, but just make sure that everything is clean. Uh, we have um, brass that we wear on our belt and we have to make sure that that's not tarnished. You don't want to go to perform a ceremony and there's discoloration in the metal. More or less just get everything prepped and ready to go so that in the morning, you're just putting everything on right for the ceremony. We're performing um, in front of sometimes very large audiences, sometimes even nationwide. When an audience is looking at us, they need to see perfection in every movement. They need to see us in sync, that we know what we're doing. Attention to detail in your training will lead to success in whatever event you're doing. So sometimes families um, are really hurting. You, can't, you just can't avoid it. So sometimes you do feel it. But since I've done so many, you know, we've learned to control it. You know, we, we're concentrating on the task at hand, so we're focused because if we're emotional, then we're not focusing on what we have to do. That can affect the quality of the flag fold, or the performance. It's something that I've become very passionate about, you know, that I love. I love the guys that I work with. I love the command, and I respect and love everything that they've taught me. I love what we do, I love what we represent. I feel very optimistic about my future, and I feel like coming here has uh, helped me improve as a person, as, a, as an individual, and very importantly as a sailor. <laughs>